Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Laura Bush attacked Trump and called his border policy immoral, Sarah Huckabee embarrassed her. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders took to the podium today during the daily press briefing to lay the smackdown on the mainstream media propagandists regarding immigration enforcement. Sanders was specifically asked about commentary from former First Lady Laura Bush in an op-ed pen for The Washington Post. In the article, Laura speaks of President Donald Trump's zero-tolerance policy on illegal aliens calling it cruel and immoral and leftist progressive propagandists thinking they smell blood in the water, began to circle like the sharks they are, ready to begin their feeding frenzy. However, as Sanders has demonstrated in the past, she does not suffer fools, nor does she mince words. She stood up and exposed Mrs. Bush for her hypocrisy and her complicity. Sanders emphatically states, frankly, this law was actually signed into effect in 2008 under, Laura Bush's, husband's leadership, not under this administration, we're not the ones responsible for creating this problem. We've inherited it, but we're actually the first administration stepping up and trying to fix it. Mrs. Bush stated in her op-ed in part, on Sunday, a day we as a nation set aside to honor fathers and the bonds of family. I was among the millions of Americans who watched images of children who have been torn from their parents. In the six weeks between April 19 and May 31, the Department of Homeland Security has sent nearly 2,000 children to mass detention centers or foster care. More than 100 of these children are younger than four years old. The reason for these separations is a zero-tolerance policy for their parents, who are accused of illegally crossing our borders. I live in a border state. I appreciate the need to enforce and protect our international boundaries but this zero-tolerance policy is cruel. It is immoral. And it breaks my heart. Our government should not be in the business of warehousing children in converted box stores or making plans to place them in tent cities in the desert outside of El Paso. These images are eerily reminiscent of the Japanese-American internment camps of World War II, now considered to have been one of the most shameful episodes in U.S. history. We also know that this treatment inflicts trauma. Intern Japanese have been two times as likely to suffer cardiovascular disease or DE prematurely than those who were not interned. Yet the left continues to wrongly claim illegal children are living in cages thanks to President Trump's new zero-tolerance policy at the border. Children are separated from their parents when they cross our borders illegally, therefore invading our country. However, yet another important distinction that leftist progressives and even some Republicans are failing to mention is many children are not traveling with their parents but instead are traveling with accompanying adults. Under Obama's reintroduction of the catch-and-release program, adults and children were released into the country under the long-standing practice of allowing illegal aliens caught without legal documents to remain free inside the country while they waited for an appearance in court. Since illegal aliens were not monitored in any way, the rate of no-shows for court was predictably high. With no punitive measures in place to enforce compliance, there was no incentive to comply. See how that policy worked? Bring a kid along when you sneak across the border and you will automatically be released into America. However, under zero tolerance, detained adults are being incarcerated and prosecuted. Minor children cannot be incarcerated with adults and are therefore being relocated to shelters. It is also important to note, families that arrive together and apply for asylum status are not generally split up. They are usually allowed to stay in the United States while their applications are being processed. While the left and mainstream media wail and gnash their teeth over the supposed torturous conditions for illegal children are forced to endure by their parents or accompanying adults' choice to cross their border illegally. They scream to the rooftops over how separated from their families and forced to live in cages. Yet these children are treated far better their impoverished urban American counterparts where their lives are often cut short due to gang violence. With drive-by shootings and turf wars being the day-to-day -day norm in cities like Los Angeles and Chicago. For years. The left has attempted to sell the American people a work of fiction regarding Obama's so-called dreamers painting them as wide-eyed, cherub-like children. Except they aren't, many of them are not even children and committing very serious and very adult crimes. As the Washington Examiner reports Dash, almost 60,000 deferred action for childhood arrivals recipients have been arrested at least once as a beneficiary of the Obama-era program, according to data released Monday by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. USA's director L. Francis Cisna confirmed Monday morning that 59,786 people protected in the program had been arrested while a DACA recipient, which is 8.5% of the total 700,000 recipients. In addition, 
53,792 DACA beneficiaries had been arrested prior to being approved by the Department of Homeland Security Agency to be part of the DACA program, which grants recipients legal protections from deportation for two-year periods. The rules for DACA are that you are excluded from DACA if you have a felony, conviction, three misdemeanor convictions, three or more misdemeanor convictions or a conviction for a misdemeanor. You could be arrested a whole lot of times and still get DACA. Cisna told Fox News Fox and Friends Monday morning. The DHS data do not include how many individuals had charges dropped or later pleaded down. Among current DACA recipients who had a prior arrest, 39% were driving-related offenses and 22% were immigration-related crimes. In 2012, then-President Barack Obama created DACA through an executive order after Congress failed to legislatively solve the issue of hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants in the country who had been brought to the U.S. as minors. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.